Hi guys, this is just a quick video to show you how to get rid of the snare on the free in the, in reggae tunes when you don't have the stems and you're doing a, a drum and bass remix. So this is what it sounds like soloed. Now I'm going to play it with the drums. So you can hear on the free you've got the snare which isn't always very desirable. So what I would do is I would cut the first snare, which is here, cut the next one. And a quick tip here as well, if you want to cut all the way along, if I press command and alt and click it's going to cut out all the way across. Right now, what I do is I highlight them all and I do this with fades. So I do a bit of a fade in, anywhere between 20 and 40, depending on the material. And you can see it's got rid of it a little bit. Sometimes it's good to put a bit of a curve on there too. I'll zoom in. Not too much, just curves it up a bit. And we just do a little fade out on the ends just in case there's a few clicks. Just around six should do it. You can, still hear the, you can still hear a bit of the reverb, but now if I play it with the drums. So that's how it sounds now, and this is how it sounded before. So you can clearly hear the difference. Put it back on again. It doesn't always work as well if you've got long held sustained notes in the singing because you hear a bit of a duck when the snare hits but in general it's a very uh, a very good workaround. If you want more uh, tips and tricks on Logic then head over to Creative Live and I have a full workshop of myself showing you how to use Logic. Uh, the link will be in the description. Nice one guys, till next time.